looking at private purchase binoculars. Um, still having a stand now, it's probably on the edge of his seat looking at these. So I can I I can I acquired these through a collection, and the the gentleman had, and they were his own personal binoculars. They've been in uh, Northern Ireland, a few other places, and he just said that when. They wanted binoculars, they weren't always issued. So he got his own and he sprayed them and cleaned them up. And then I realised myself that I had the same thing when I was in. But I never camouflaged my ones. And my ones are, are just the cheapy, cheapy ones. I don't know where I got them, but there you go. There's my ones. Um, I don't even know what the magnification are on these. But they served me well and did me well. Um, I used to just tape a, a, a sniper's um, veil over them or a scrim scarf over them. I never, I never bothered painting them. But yeah, so they were my ones. So f forget about that and we'll go back to these. Why, why would soldiers want to private purchase their binoculars? So first of all, not everyone in the army would be entitled to be issued binoculars. Uh, spotters, uh, such as snipers, mortarmen... Um, forward observers, officers, NCOs and stuff like that, they might get them. But your general job logs wasn't given binoculars. So your regular scout in a scouting section, or a regular scout in an infantry section wouldn't have binoculars. Maybe you might find them a bit handy if he needed them. Um, so he bought his own. And it's just another little thing that soldiers must, if they need them and they can't get them, they'll find them, they'll acquire them, they'll buy them. Um... Yeah, so I just thought it was interesting for some people to see. I don't know what the make is on it. There you go. Stan, you can tell me if that's a good make or not. But yeah, so there you go. Just a, a, a nice little, neat little pair of binoculars with a little bit of a story behind them. So there you go. I hope you like what we provide here at Air at Minish Collectibles. Please like, please subscribe and please tune in for the next video. And as always, if you want to contribute to the channel, there is a video or there is an Amazon wish list. And if you would like to get in contact with the channel, there's also an email at the top of the video description. So thank you very much.